Uh, good morning, we're here with Liam at Maxi Medical Robotic Hair Transplant Clinic. We're about to begin um, a 1500 uh, robotic procedure, hair restoration. Um, Liam uh, had some hair loss for the last uh, few years that became progressively worse. And uh, we just finished uh, uh, drawing the hairline. And the hairline is looks like this. Okay, this is how the robot can orient itself around and um, um, it, everything done is done automatically. The robot will create a digital map of course with uh, our guidance and make very precise incisions for, to accommodate those hair grafts that will be taken from the back of the head and uh, placed right into this little uh, uh, nix of the skin. Okay, the nice thing about robotic, it's so precise, it calculates the density very um, um, thoroughly, so we can create a, a very natural appearance. We'll create a, um, a irregular hairline, so it's not gonna look like something done by um, uh, artificially. It's gonna look more natural. We're gonna also restore his side peaks on the side. It's very important to give a more natural look. Um, could you share some of the things you, you know, you wanted to achieve? And um, I just wanted some more story. fuller density. I want to restore the front. A lot of people see the front of your face first and um, with a receding hairline and it disappearing, it kind of makes you self-conscious about meeting new people, applying for jobs and moving forward in life. So it kind of holds you back as you're losing your hair. And why did you pick the robotic technology versus more uh, uh, the, the, the older approach to, to hair restoration? Um, I mean, there's so many new technologies now with hair um, transplants and um, restoring your hairline. Um, and I wanted to go with the best, latest technology and the best way to do that to maximize my results. Yes, it's more to realize with robotic technology, we, uh, we, we're talking about the lowest discard rate because the robot does not have any uh, um, emotions or uh, handshakes or anything that might affect the performances. It starts at 100% uh, um, yield and it, it ends the same way. And another important point, uh, unlike a strip procedure that we are limited to small uh, area in the back of the head. With robot, we can pick the best hair follicles. The robot does it automatically anywhere uh, uh, from the safe zone in the back of the head. And we'll uh, keep you updated throughout the procedure. How's everything going? Okay, we're gonna start very soon. Okay, so here's another update with, uh, with uh, Liam. Just finished the 1600 uh, grass procedure. It went really smoothly. We, uh, we were done with uh, harvesting uh, within an hour and a half. It took us about two hours to place these grafts. Uh, everything went smoothly, right? Not pain or you're relaxed. No, once you get the anesthesia, you feel nothing. It took us very quick. Okay. Get your lunch, right? Yep, great lunch. Um, I had a chicken sandwich, and then they did the placements, and I personally fell right asleep through the whole thing. Didn't even notice it. Okay, great. Okay, so this is the, this is actually a very typical experience of patients here, and um, as you can see, we'll show you these pictures just a little bit. Our techs did a tremendous job placing those grafts in the same direction. It was actually predetermined by the robot we made an incision and the density is uh, is excellent we 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 able to uh, by the end of the procedure we're not only able to tell how many grafts were placed but how many grafts with one hair follicle how many grafts with two three and four again uh, with the robot we, we 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 know all the details very precisely okay so so far uh, You've been happy? Yeah. I'm uh, the, content. How everything went? Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks.